so hello everyone welcome back with another video of salesforce geek channel and in this tutorial we are going to cover a very simple use case and the intent of this particular use case is to teach beginners how things actually work in salesforce flows so what we are going to do in this particular scenario we are going to create a very simple screen flow and i am going to let you know that once the account record is created how you can create a related record of contact and basically you can create records in salesforce flow very easily by using create record element right but how to relate account and contact that is the thing that we are going to see in this particular tutorial so without any delay let's check it out so first of all what i am going to do i am going to click on new flow here i am going to select a screen flow and click create so on the very first screen i am going to get the inputs of the user like for example account name and let's say contact first name contact last name contact email and then i am going to create records right so for, for that what i am going to do i am going to use a screen and then i am going to use a text component so i will simply type text into the component section and drop over to the canvas now before doing that i am going to add the screen label and api name let's say account and contact information api name will be automatically populated now in this particular text i am going to type account name i am going to make it require right and then I'm going to use another text component that is for first name one more text component that is for last name and let me check another text component for email so these are the things that I'm going to use on my simple screen flow right now what I'm going to do I'm going to change the labels let's say contact first name then let's say contact last name and last name I'm going to make it required because as you know on contact object last name is a required field right and in this particular text component I'm going to type email now I'm going to click on require on email as well so this is the basic screen that we have right let me click on done and save my flow right now here I'm going to click on save now I'm going to click on debug just to show you how our screen actually looks like so if you are a beginner and want to learn Salesforce flows, then I created a course for absolute beginners who want to learn Salesforce flow from scratch. This course contains more than 80 plus tutorials and 40 plus hours of content. So if you are interested to learn flows, make sure you check out the course. Link is given below into the description of this video. Let me click on run. And now here you can see, here I need to provide my account name, here contact first name, here contact last name and here is the email. I hope this is clear to you. Now the next step that we have is to create account by using the user inputs, right? So in this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a create record element. Let's say create account record. And then I am going to select the second option, use separate resources and literal values. In this I am going to type account and field I have is name so in the value I am going to select it from the screen component and you can see account name is available over available over there let me click on it now I am going to use another create record element to basically create the contact record so let's say here I am going to type create and now this time I am going to type create contact record 
Similarly, in this I am also going to use the second option that is use separate resources and literal values. Now in the object I am going to type contact, right? And in this field I am going to select first name, last name and the third we have email. So in first name I am going to use the screen component that is contact first name then again contact last name and similarly email component that we have. So this is done now let me save my flow again and this time I am going to click on debug. So earlier when I debug in the first time you will see we don't have any create record element uh, so that only you will see a screen over there right account will not be created contact will not be created but this time we use create record element in order to create account and contact so this time it will create contact as well so now what I am going to do I am going to click on run and here you can see this screen so here I am going to type let's say cloud padle private limited contact first name let's say Shubham and Bharadwaj is the last name and in this I am going to provide my email id let's say Shubham at the rate cloud and I am going to click on next so here you can see we got an error now why we get this error we will check into the debug logs it is okay if you get any kind of error right the intent is to learn how we can resolve error by looking into our debug logs right I also don't know why I am getting this error but I am going to check in front of you why we get this so if I check uh, from the starting okay we will get all the data right and here you can see create account record so account will be created automatically where when we are going to create a contact record that's where we are going to hit a error so here you can see the phone field cannot be null business phone right you can look up exception code let me also try to create a contact from the normal screen that we have so if I go to contacts and click on new and here I'm going to type let's say Bharatwaj only and click on save so seems like uh, there will be some kind of uh, flow that is working on and it's a, a pre-release org that's why I am getting that uh, particular error and let me try so if I go back to triggers or let's say flow triggers because I know that's might that might be because of the flow that I created earlier and if I go to error flow so here you can see a contact a record is created fast field update it will throw me an error if the phone field is null so that's why we are getting this kind of error so simply for now what I am going to do I am going to deactivate this flow or I can add a phone number field over to the salesforce screen flow so for now let me do one thing I am not going to deactivate this flow I am going to add one more screen component into my flow and that is going to be let's say phone so here I will add phone and let's say contact phone API name will not include or will not include any space right so that's why we need to provide either underscore or I need to remove the space between them now in this I will make it required so I will simply type true into the required component or attribute you can say and I am going to click on done now in the create contact record I am going to click on add field and type here phone and in the phone I am going to provide a value from the screen component that is contact phone dot value I hope this is clear to you now here I am going to save my flow and click on debug again I'm going to click on run again 
and let's say I will provide the same details again cloud for delay private limited Shubham Bharatwaj Shubham at the rate cloudpadale.com contact let's say 705769899 so this is some random number this is not my real number right so don't try to <laughs> go over etc so now I am going to click on next and this time you will see we will not get any kind of error and the reason because we already provided phone number into the text component and use that particular phone number in order to create a contact record now there is one more thing missing I hope you know that particular answer why we miss a particular thing and my intent is to teach you the main part so what is the scenario scenario is basically to create contact and relate that contact to the account record right so now in order to relate that particular contact to the account what we need we need the account ID so right now you can see the contact contact is getting created into the salesforce org right account is also created let me go back and refresh the co contact list and here I'm going to let's say select today's or let's say new this week so here you can see phone number is basically created over there and in the details you can see everything it is same but the thing which is you you are not seeing account name because we did not provide anything into the account name correct and similarly you will also see account is also created so if I click on cloud Padlay private limited you will not see any contact available into the related list of that particular account so in this case what we are going to do I will simply move to my flow into the create record contact record if I add one more field account ID right but the problem is how we are going to provide the account ID right so let's say if I open this particular create record element and you will see there is a manually assigned variable option over there so if I select this right and here you can see store account ID in variable so in this particular scenario or in this particular case when we select manually assign variable we can provide a variable which will store the account ID onto that particular variable so here we are going to create a new resource let's say variable API name would be account ID right data type is going to be text and I am going to click on done so this account ID variable will store the account ID of the newly created account I will also show you the same thing into the debug mode so now let's say if I click on the create contact record and into the account ID I will simply provide that text variable that I just created so that is account ID I hope this is clear to you so now we also map our related contact to the account so if I am going to save my flow and click on debug and click on run so this time let's say I am going to type salesforce geek private limited and contact first name let's say Shubham contact last name let's say Shubham Bharadwaj email Shubham at the rate salesforce geek dot in phone number let's say again some random phone number right and now again I am going to click on next so this time you can see we will also not get any kind of error because we already handled that particular error by providing phone number over there so now if you closely notice from the very start we basically provide the account name we basically provide the contact first name contact last name then we provided the email and then we provided the phone number correct then we created a account record and if you closely noticed 
see this particular line account id variable store the account id and then we use the account id here account id equals to this particular account id where we simply providing account id to that particular contact so that contact will be related to the account so i hope this is clear to you now i will move back to the org and see whether the account is created so here you can see salesforce geek private limited is created if i open this particular account in the related list you can see contacts shubham bhardwaj shubham at the rate salesforce geek dot in is also created so that's how you can create related records to salesforce parent record or you can say uh, you can that's how you can basically relate to records in screen flow so the main concept of this particular tutorial is manually assign variable and that you will get in the create record element where you will see manually assign variable you can simply provide a text variable over there in order to store the id right so now i am going to give you a task if you want to try out the scenario in this same scenario also try to create opportunity and then you need to relate that particular opportunity to the account i hope this is clear to you now do the same and you will also get something new to learn so that's it from this particular tutorial i hope you like this tutorial and if you like this tutorial please subscribe the channel for more such videos and make sure you check out our very new salesforce course where you will learn everything from scratch thank you so much